Alright guys, so before we start today's video, um, this video will be going over all the wiring um, of the halos, the demon dies, and everything, and how to hook them to your turn signals to where they'll do the switchback turns and um, to where the demon dies will shut off when your low beams are on. So that's what's coming up in this video. It was kind of a quick rundown. Um, this video is probably not going to be that long because of that. I tried to explain it the best I could, but it's kind of hard because there's so many wires in there. Um, but if you guys have any questions or want me to break it down again, I can film another video and kind of help you guys out. Um, just let me know in the comments down below and we'll actually go through and we'll film another one for you guys. Um, but other than that, guys, we're at 957 subscribers now, so we're getting really close. Again, remember, we're going to do the t-shirt giveaway once we hit 1,000, and I'll tell you guys what you have to do to win the shirts once we hit that. So make sure that you are sharing the video, you're hitting the, this purple subscribe button, either on this corner or this corner, wherever it's at, go ahead and click that now, and it won't take you off the video. And um, just make sure you're sharing it with everybody. So that way we can hit the 1,000 quick and we can get you guys some cool t-shirts. So let's go ahead and we'll get into the video now. Okay guys, so one thing that you're gonna have to know is that there is a lot of wires to have three halos and then a demon die. So it's gonna be really hard to keep it clean looking. So we did the best we could. And over here on your driver's side, there's a big open space underneath your, or in your front bumper. So what we went ahead and did, so our control boxes are mounted up here, just like that. So I went ahead and I just drilled two holes and then I'm using zip ties to hold them on. So that way they can be one right on top of the other to make them more concealed. Um, because the way that they mount is two screws right here on this side where that red zip tie is and it wouldn't have been flush with the bottom of that metal. So it's a better mount. So now, as you guys can see, we're running out right here. I'll just kind of move these up. So their leads are coming out here. So now one thing I want to tell you guys is make sure you label everything. So I have my sets labeled. So I have my 80 millimeter. You've got your 110 millimeter. I've got my demon dies labeled. I've got the 60 millimeter labeled into pairs. Okay, so then after the pairs, I've also got the ballast labeled because each ballast is different. If you hook up the wrong one to the wrong light, it'll blow it up. So now you can see I've got each of those labeled as well. And then after that, I have each lead labeled because once you run them halfway across the car, you're not going to remember which one goes to where. And then I also have the leads labeled coming down from the headlights. So, as you guys can see, we kind of, we zip tied both of the ballast right together and then we've got this lead going out and going across the car and then of course this one hooks up right here so that's pretty much what we did to each one of them and then just found a good place to zip time to um, there's a very thick OEM harness that's actually held up really well we used it and then we actually used it's kinda hard to see back in there but we kind of use, there's some metal holes in your frame and we just ran zip ties through those and mounted them there as well. So running them across the car, we went right underneath this headlight. We traveled across right here with an OEM harness, all the way across, came right up to here and then ran them in right here. So as you can see, it's really clean on this side and then once you have your bumper on, you won't see any of it. And like right here, you can't even tell where the wires are. So you've kind of got a rat's nest down here, but that's just kind of how it is because of how much wire they send you. Now you could cut them down, I guess, if you wanted to, but that would be a lot of soldering and then you would lose these nice braided um, wire protectors. So that's how that went. And then also, if you guys want to have your turn signals to turn on, so I'll show you that now. We'll just hit the hazards real quick. So as you guys can see, the hazards are on now. 
So if you want them to do that, or if you just want the low, the smallest ring, biggest ring, however you want to wire it up, you can do that. But as you guys can see, each wire or each ballast has an orange wire that comes out from it. And that orange wire is what cuts the ground to make them switch to the orange or the amber. So what we did was, is so you don't have three wires running in, you actually have to tap it to the ground, I believe. The ground, or no, actually it's the hot, the hot of the um, turn signal. It's been a little bit since we've done this. This has actually been a couple weeks ago. I just didn't have time to film it then. So what you're gonna do is we took all three of those, or actually all of them, and we tapped them in or we soldered all of those together and then ran one lead, made our own lead up to where we're only tapping in a single one up here and then it's got all three. So now this is where your labeling is gonna be really good because you're gonna to have to have a left and a right 60 millimeter halo because if you're turning right, it's gonna be different than when you're turning left and if you hook them all up to one turn signal then they're all going to come on when you're turning left or you're turning right and you'll just look like you have your hazards on in the front all the time so that's why you're going to have to have your left and your right labeled which we knew because we had our right up top and the back ballast was the left so what we also did was solder those three together and then we ran them directly across here as you can see we made our own wire which is this red one ran it across and then we tapped it in right there so that's how we've got our turn signals and our hazards wired and then now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the demon dies in and i'll show you the wiring scheme of that but it's basically going to be the exact same we'll have everything labeled and then with those i'm pretty sure you either go to the ground or the positive with the wire that comes off of it and then that way when your low beams come on right here they will actually kill the demon die back there and then your halos will still be on and then the low beam will just be shining through and you won't have that LED, you know, hurting the light or whatever. So anyway, that's pretty much the wiring diagram in a nutshell. But as you can see, it is a lot of wires that you're gonna to have to deal with. So if this is a different car you're working on, try to find a good open area. I know that there's another guy on here that made a video and his name's Jesse TC. And he actually mounted them on this side, but I wanted to keep my windshield washer fluid container right here or reservoir and he actually took his out so that's not good for me so that's why i went ahead and put them on the driver's side <clears throat> all right guys so we're going to go ahead and close the video out here um, i really hope this wiring video helped you out um, i know wiring is kind of hard for some people but um, i hope this video kind of helped you out a little bit with it um, and it wasn't too confusing another thing i'm going to do for you guys is i'm actually going to pop up the I have a link to the install guide for both the demon dies and the halos on this one. Um, next Thursday, we'll actually be wiring up the demon dies because I actually have to do that at a separate date. So that'll be a whole nother video um, next Thursday. Uh, Tuesday, we'll be doing um, some underglow stuff to the cars, adding some more stuff, um, some longer tubes in the grills. But again, like I said, I'm going to pop those up, um, the install guide. So that should help you out a little bit more with the wiring. And if you guys have any um, questions on the wiring or anything like that, or if you do want me to make another video, like I said at the beginning, um, we have to take the front bumper back off again to put a splitter on the car. Um, I can kind of run it down a little bit better, maybe word it differently so you guys can understand. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Make sure that you like the video and share the video. And again, remember we're at 957 subscribers, I think right now so not too many more and then we're going to do that uh cool t-shirt giveaway so and i'll tell you all the rules about that then but anyway till then guys i'll see y'all later peace out and remember build your masterpiece